So what is going on everyone, it's Kieran the Barber here. Today I have an awesome video for you. It's a crop, as I've already done one in previous videos. This is slightly different. We're doing a lower skin fade, um, and we're doing a couple of scar lines in there. I'm gonna show you how I blend in from a low skin fade coming up, blending that up and in to the crop itself. Um, this was meant to be actually for a Transformation Tuesday video. I've had it on hold for a couple of weeks. I can't let it go any longer. I really, really want to get it out of there. And while you're here, remember... The sub button is right here. Right? Just... Like, literally, all you have to do is go down, scroll, click that sub button. Um, I'd really, really appreciate, guys, if you could give this video a like, because I'm... If you go look through the video, I put a lot of work into getting all the graphics out and all the details that I've put into the clipper knowledge in there as well. So give give that a like. That I'd, I'd really really appreciate that. It took me a long time to do. Um, I really really hope you enjoy this one. As I said, I put a lot of work into this video. Um, it's very educational. So guys, please smash that like button for me. Um, if you can, it'd be really great if you could copy the link and share it onto um, your Facebook or, or wherever you want to share it. That'd be also great as well. And just very quickly, um, I just want to bless you all for your support um, over the last few months. You've really, really been supportive. I've had so much more likes than I would ever usually have. And the comments have been absolutely superb. Guys, the, the more you comment, the more you like, the more I'm going to post videos. Like, this is simple as that. And, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. It really does hit me here. And I'm really humbled by you all. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Now, onto this video. Guys, enjoy it. So what is going on everyone? It is your boy Kieran the Barber here and I'm gonna get straight into it with my Slimline Pro Allies. I'm gonna be doing a low skin fade, i.e taking that very very short around the ears about an inch that's all I want to be taking so my skin fade will be about an inch high before I start blending in and I'm going to come down nice and low and just get that just beneath the occipital bone to contour his face shape nicely now get rid of the rest of the excess hair with either your big clippers or if you have slimline pros they'll get through them and then repeat on the same side So now with my number two, regardless of what haircut I do, I make sure I use the number two after I've done the skin fade to remove the bulk of the hair. And what that does is that gives me a nice level then to um, to start fading from. If I fade from either a three or a four, I might not get the fade that I want. I know myself that if I use a number two, I can get that perfect fade in there somehow. Now coming in with my number one, start by using the corner. And I'll just make sure I just take that just halfway between the two and the skin fade. Flicking up as I go up to make sure when I start blending, that blend just is a lot easier to blend. So much easier if you flick up and use the C motion. If you just go into the hair, it's a lot harder to then get out. Now 
Now I'm going to focus that in and show you the number zero on the magnetic guard on the US Pro cordless LIs. And then again, just rubbing that watch and flicking up slightly just to remove that bulk right at the very bottom before we start going in and flicking between the zero guard and the half guard. It's all about working out what you've got to do, setting yourself a routine, getting that routine in place, i.e. going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps, instead of going eight, four, two, one, fifteen, twelve. You know, get your steps in order first, and then from there you'll be able to get the perfect fade in. So with my zero now. I'm going to run at that very line. I'm, trying, I'm not going to go much higher than the line with the zero. With the half, I'll go a little bit higher, but with that zero, I'm just going to flick that line out, stretching that skin to make sure the hair is all the way up, and I can make sure I can then, when I'm rubbing against the hair, when I pulled it up, it's a lot easier to get out. The follicle sticks out a lot more. And P.S. Make sure you've always got that fade brush in your hand as well, because Sometimes people can go, like, even with me, like, when I didn't have a fade brush, I would go over and over and over and over and over a piece of hair, and I realised, actually, that's just the debris of the hair I've already cut off, um, and I look stupid. So, yeah, just make sure you've always got that fade brush and you're constantly rubbing. So, with my white Andis clipper comb, Always remember, white goes into dark hair, and not better than dark goes into dark hair. And dark obviously goes into more ginger, auburn, blonde, grey, green, silver, light blue, you know, all them colours. But with a white comb, you get some darker colours and dark browns and blacks, and colours like that. So that's my little tip. I would show you, but my fat elbow is in the way of the camera. Now with Thai's hair as it's very very thick, what I like to do is um, run my finishes just through the fade, just to soften from that really dark bit of the hair to where it is bold. I like to get right in there and just use my finishes just to soften that up and then I'll come in with the scissors after it just to go over just to make sure that it is um, dead smooth and dead straight.
So using my Andes foil shavers, the best by far foil shaver on the market at this moment in time. Just running just around, as I say, that very, very bottom bit, the very, very bottom. I'm not even taking that an inch up. I'm just going around the very, very bottom. So it's nice and smooth. Get that fresh, fresh feeling of a haircut. Who doesn't love when, the, especially I'm talking to you, you men out there and fem females with short hair, like when you get that skin fade, I, I probably get it done every couple of months, just once, just because I like the feeling of it, especially with summer. But going outside and feeling the wind, woo! It's nice. So using the big, chunky, funky clippers, the Super ZRs on a five zero head. I'm coming up, and then I'm reverse tapering down just to get rid of that line, just to soften that that sort of fade line out as such. The line that people sort of struggle with the most. Don't ever feel you can't rub back with your clippers. It does work. It's proven that it works. Just make sure you you're on a zero when you do it. So as you can see, I'm just, just moving out that line. I love these clippers, by the way. Um, little tip that I got taught a few months back was I tend to have mine on a free. There's five powers of speed. I tend to have mine set on a free because if you have it on a five, they tend to get quite hot quite quickly. So what I would suggest is just to keep them on a free and I run mine at a free all day, day in, day out and, and they're absolutely fine. Just taking that from the temple, slowly getting that shape in there, and then pushing that round. And I, I say that strongly with the pushing it round because you can see how much of a curve you're getting when you just you line that first line out and you come around and, and you get that nice curve in. Make sure you're always using your rest finger as well. Now my favourite bit of the whole video, just because the film went really good on this bit, is where I put my scratch marks in. You can just see already with the Slimline Pros, you don't even need to push hard. And look how close they get. It's unbelievable. That looks sharp. So, when I put the line in, I put one on the temple and then come up at a 45 degree angle and I stick the second one just just about centimeter beneath and I come just a little bit shorter 
with the scratch line on that. Just for effect, this is this is nothing but effect, nothing but um, tight tie lights it like that. So you know that's that's how we that's how we do it. So as his hair is quite short anyway, we're literally just going to be feathering that. So running the scissors right through, and then from running the scissors right through, we're going to be just picking up the hair and just chipping into it just really hacking at you because with a messy crop you don't want the head to sit flat forward you want it to be as messy and as textured as it physically can be Now to, just to make everything sharp, you get your Bluebeard Chavette or any Chavette that you use. Um, I heard someone the other day talking about how they like to keep the blade just out slightly just because it gives it a sharper effect. I tend not to do that, just just more for health and safety. I like to keep the blade as, as it sort of should be. And what is your opinion on that? I'd like to hear your comments on how do you have your blade? Would you wear your blade out slightly or do you, do you keep the blade nice and tight in? Or, I mean, I've seen some barbers who have cut my hair before where they don't even use a cut for it. They just use the blade alone. Where they just use it with their hands, which is cool. I mean, I, I can do that. I just choose not to because it's flipping scary. So onto my trigger happy texturizing spray. Now this spray is amazing. I use this in every video. And I'll tell you why I use this in every video. Because I use this on every customer. Every customer I can get to have a cool funky haircut. This is the first thing I spray in there. Just because I know straight away it sets off the texture. It sets off the style. It's an amazing product. And I'm going to put the link in the description below for you guys. So you can click on the link, you can try it out, you can comment and say, I've used that product, it is absolutely amazing. It's an awesome product. And people who have used it before, tell them, comment below, tell, tell them how good it is. This is not your everyday product, and I swear by that, and I'm not, I don't just say that, I genuinely mean that. dry and the fringe is down don't ever don't think it's like it's not like a firework 
you can go back to a finished haircut. And I always, always, when I've blow dried the crop, I get my Slimline Pros and I'll make sure I edge that fringe up just so it looks so much sharper. So, so much sharper. Just taking them edges off just before I tie it. And don't think you, you can't use clippers to do a fringe either. Wildcat hair clip. Oh boy, this stuff is the dog's something. Right, this is this is the good stuff. This is like crack for hair. It's flipping amazing, honestly. If you haven't tried this yet, you guys, what are you doing? Why are you even watching me? Come on, man. Try it out. Check that out. Oh, oh my days, look at it. Look, look how much texture you can see through that crop. It's like a maze of texture. It's like the Hunger Games of the texture world. That's what it is, mate. You get lost in that texture, trust me. And the Wildcat hair clay and the texturizing spray just brings that right out. I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this video. Other than, I would just wanna say, just a very quick one. Finish off as always. Join his power. Join his fix power hold hairspray. Just spray that in there. But guys, honestly, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of your video. The rest of this video. And I'm gonna shut up now. But have a. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And, and bless you. So I've got 20 seconds to say things you may not know about me. I've got brown hair, blue eyes, I'm a bit chubby, uh, um, I get belly button hair sometimes, um, I've got pretty dry skin, but yeah, other than that, I'm a pretty good barber, so sub to me and check out my other videos. Peace!